as far as Jennifer goes with the physical comedy, I mean, from from sort of you know throwing beef bourguignon down her throat and ending up with it all over her face when she's pregnant and hungry, or to this orgasm scene that we have in the cheese bar, <laughs> you know, she's so fearless in in her approach, and she, she she sort of comes at the work with this reckless abandon that that a lot of people. Um, shy away from and that's why I think she's so successful one of the one of the many reasons why she's so successful in this genre she's so believable and she's so carefree in it and which makes it so watchable it's fantastic you know it's lovely I've never had such a family energy on in my workplace before and it's gr it's great for everyone uh, but yeah she's she's she she's a new mother and she is uh so she brings that i mean it's still so fresh for her and she she brings that to work and it's evident you know it's and it's great i think this i don't know i, I haven't spoken to her about it but i would imagine that this seems like such a pertinent role for her at where she is in her life and she took a bit of time off and now this is the film she chose to do after her you know after her time off with the kids and it kind of makes perfect sense There's a couple of scenes in the park with the, uh, the, the dad character who, who be, befriends Stan and becomes an ally of Stan's. One of Stan's only allies and friends that we meet in the film, actually. And that character, uh, the dad character, facilitates a bunch of stuff for him. And, and one, one of those things is, is he becomes, he becomes, uh, uh, he becomes a person who's, who shows Stan the true beauty of uh, oh, the reality of having kids, but the, the moments of true beauty that are possible when you are a parent. And Stan's a young man, and the last thing on his mind is, is a family. <laughs> you know, I mean, he sees Zoe, uh, Jennifer's character, and, he, and, he's, and he's like, wow, she blows him away, and, she, and he wants to get to know her more and spend more time with her, but, but having a family and doing the whole thing is, is not, is the last thing, is the last thing uh, on his mind. Michaela Watkins plays Mona, who's Jennifer's best friend and, and sidekick, and she's a mother of four. She is, she loves, oh, she may, she may get upset at me for, for giving, I don't know if she loves being a parent, but she's, 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 uh, she's sort of a, <laughs> she's a reality check for, for Zoe, you know, and um, she is, uh, she's come to a place of acceptance about what's happened to her vagina after giving birth to four babies. He's very clear in his vision, and he's very, uh, I trust him implicitly, and he's, he is, um, every direction he gives is so succinct. I mean, when you first meet Alan, it's evident that he's an intellectual, you know, I mean, that he's a thinker and that he's a reader and all that stuff. But it, it spans across all the emotional stuff as well. I mean, he's so, he's so, in, he's, he's so clear about what he wants, and he's, and he's so articulate about how does it help you get it? I mean, the direction he gives me, I never have troubles with and I really enjoy, and so it's been terrific working with him. And he loves comedy. He's very, he has a really innate understanding of what's actually funny. The Backup Plan is a romantic comedy about love and marriage in reverse. It's about what not to do when you want to fall in love and have kids and get married. It's about the way absolutely you should not ever think about doing it. And, uh, and it's, it's it's a, it's an element. It's got elements of brave new comedy. It's a physical comedy. It's an intellectual comedy, and it's a feel good too. You know, uh, we deal with we deal with lots of issues uh, that we all have and don't talk about much.